Hi folks, Paul here again, inside my Nissan Leaf. I uh, just wanted to show you the current state of my state of charge project. Uh, so this is for my 2011 Nissan Leaf, which the very first iteration of the Nissan Leaf didn't show the state of charge accurately in the car. Once they got to the version 1.1, in 2013 they did start showing the, the state of charge in a display that looks a lot like this but in the other dash. Uh, so what I've got here is an OLED display that's inserted over the top of the old tree, funny tree thing, uh, which is a complete waste of visual space I think. Uh, so now I've got a state of charge. This OLED talks to an Arduino which talks to a OBD2 module that talks to the computer inside the car. And so I, what I've done since the last time I showed you this is I've, I've got a slightly larger OLED display. Uh, it's the same resolution but just larger, uh, which is easier to see, which is nice. I've also got a feature where I can change elements on the display. So this is what I normally have. This is the default screen. So I've got the state of charge and my estimate of range. And this range estimate is based on my average efficiency of driving for the whole of 2019. It is not accurate for each drive, because if you go on a drive that is completely flat, that's totally different from a hilly drive. But its inaccuracy is way less than the, um, the Nissan LEAF's range estimate, the gasometer, uh, which is diabolical. And the, the annoying thing about the gasometer is it's most wrong at the time when you most want to know about it, which is when you turn the car on. You want to know before you set out whether you've got enough range. And that is when it is most wildly optimistic. And then a few minutes later, it suddenly loses a whole lot of range estimate and becomes more realistic. And the problem with that scenario is new people who get into the car freak out when they see it losing 10 kilometers of range after the first kilometer. And it's just really annoying to have a range estimate that starts out being super inaccurate. I've been using this for about six months now and have been keeping track of the amount of error between my estimate and the actual distance traveled. And this is way less inaccurate than the, the Nissan one. Oh, incidentally, you may not know of the other range estimate in Nissan Leafs. This blue button here, if you push that, uh, over on the navigation, assuming you've got navigation, uh, it will give you the standard range estimate, which is currently 99 kilometers, and a conservative range estimate of 69. Now, this conservative range estimate is way more accurate than the 99, the standard um, guessometer, um, and is much closer to the accuracy that I'm getting uh, with my range estimate. Uh, so whatever formula they're using to arrive at this conservative number is almost as accurate as my range estimate. Um, so if you didn't want to go to the bother of doing something like this, but you wanted a better sense of what your real range is going to be like, then this is quite good. This tends to be slightly uh, more pessimistic than my range estimate. Then the other thing that I've done uh, is to blank out a whole bunch of um, what I find personally uh, annoying visual clutter on the on the main dash. So I've blanked out the first six bars of the temperature the temperature display. So normally you've got these big huge blue bars that um, are just actually and when the temperature is fine they're not actually giving you any real useful um, information and they're really long. 
The higher up you get, the shorter the lines get, but the more important the data is. This drives me crazy because, because it's the inverse of the way it should be. So what I've done is blank out the first uh, six or seven bars so that uh, when the temperature is absolutely fine, uh, I don't get annoyed by this huge blue area. And when the temperature goes above those, the blue bars pop out all of a sudden and it's much more noticeable. Um, so I quite like that change. Then I've also blanked out this side, uh, which is now hiding the grossly inaccurate um, standard range estimate. Uh, so people who use my car have to make do with my range estimate, which is better than than um, than the Nissan one. And personally, I find this way less cluttered not having the huge blue bars, which mostly don't tell you uh, useful information. You've still got um, the white bars, so if you really want to know, you can, you can look at those. But the blue, I thought, was overbearing. Uh, oh, what else? Uh, then the other thing I've done is, if you turn the air conditioning on, or the AC on, then switch into feet heating mode and then recirculate which is a crazy setting that um, I can't imagine you ever really wanting in real life then the level of fan will change my display so that is fan, two fan bars then this is three fan bars, and then this is four fan bars, and then all the way up to six, which resets my um, Arduino, and it starts again. Uh, so rather than have to use um, this button down here, I can set um, the features on my range, on my display using the air conditioner settings in a particular mode that you're unlikely to use in real life. That's an idea that I stole from another leaf hacker, Dala. I'll put a link into his channel because uh, he's doing some really amazing stuff and this was a really clever idea. So this project has worked quite well. Um, the state of charge meter looks pretty good nice and clean and simple uh, by far the most useful functionality is the range estimate because it's way better than the Nissan Leaf estimate my next step in this slowly evolving project is to split off the range onto a separate display and put that in the dash here over where the original range estimate lived and also I want to add a graph that shows the optimistic range estimate, pessimistic range estimate and then what your what the current range estimate is over the course of the trip and then from that information you'll be able to quickly visually see how you're doing compared to best and worst case scenarios and see how likely you are to arrive within what you were expecting. And I think that's going to be quite a useful feature. And it'll be a slightly bigger display, it'll be colour. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. Otherwise, uh, the whole thing is working pretty well. Okay, well thanks for watching. Cheers!